Alright guys, so today we're at a local park. I've got the OMP M1 and M2s with me. And we're gonna do some flying. I'm not sure how much because it's pretty windy. I haven't really flown these too much. It's pretty windy, so I don't know if I want to put it upside down or not. I will say though, that purple looks really good in the sky. Um, so my Blade 330S guys is going to be out for a little while. Um, just because of the crash I had and then I accidentally put the blades into the dirt. So I took out one of the gears and it's just something I don't really want to do right now. So it's just been kind of sitting at home. I should probably really get on and do it, but I just haven't. This thing really gets away from me quick though, guys. I mean, it's a spunky little thing. So let's see how long I've been flying for. About two minutes. This thing actually flies really good, guys. I'm tempted to put it up and see how well it does uh, if it'll do any flips and stuff, but. Let's go ahead, let's put it up. I just wanna see how quick it would flip itself over. And actually that was, that was crazy responsive. Um, that really impressed me. But it's really getting blown around by the wind, so. see there so yeah this thing flips itself right over guys that's really cool um, that's really nice a lot faster than the 330 but that might be because it's smaller I'm so tempted to try it down here but I just I don't know if I want to that's why I don't want to try it down there guys but the nice thing is, is this thing is direct drive. So as long as nothing's bent, we should be able to put it right back up in the air. So as you can see, it goes right back up. I think this thing flips really well, guys, actually. Uh, the recovery on it is nuts. So you got a lot of time to save yourself if you need it. So uh, I just heard the battery beeper go off. We're gonna go ahead and put it down. Guys, be careful when you're doing this too, if you're doing it like around your vehicles and stuff, because these little helicopters, they will, they'll damage your vehicle, it's nuts. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw the next battery in it, then we'll be back. All right, there we go, we are reconnected. See, and that's the problem with these little guys, guys. See how far I got it out there? 
I can't really tell. I couldn't tell really what orientation I was in. But with that self-leveling, um, it really helps just to get the heli back. So it's, you know guys, you gotta be careful um, when you're doing these because it is nuts how quick they'll get away from you and stuff. So you see what I did there? I accidentally pulled the throttle stick all the way down. Um, you don't want to do that on these helicopters because they take a second to spin up. So uh, just be careful with that, guys. Don't do as I just did. So there, I got it upside down. I got a little nervous. Let's see if I can do that right above us here. There we go, it took the heli into inverted, took it out of inverted. So guys, I believe this would be a good little heli for your first heli actually. As you've seen, I put it into the ground head first. Still flying good, but you could tame it down um, if you need to. And I would suggest you to go online, watch some videos on how to do that and tame it down. Um, I'm not no professional, but uh, I'm pretty decent at helis besides crashing them. <laughs> I've uh, I've crashed a few and you're gonna when you're starting out. I mean, I'm still crashing them now. Um, it just depends what you're doing. But you guys, it's something you'll learn. You know, you're gonna crash stuff, especially planes and helis. If you're just starting out, get used to crashing them because it's gonna happen. Um, and it's just, it's one of those things. I can't believe how quick this little thing is, it's nuts. Flies really well. So let's just get some. And then I do have it in self-leveling right now, of course. Usually when I'm out just out flying my helis, guys, even when I start doing stunts, I just pop it out. And then when I'm done, I pop it back in because, you know, honestly, that's the way I learned to fly. Um, and it's nice just to have that self-leveling. Um, I mean, I know most big pilots aren't using self-leveling or uh, the guys out there actually doing stunts and stuff. And that's okay. Um, you know, and that's the thing. I'm not here to become like a big professional. I almost just hit myself with that thing. That was kind of creepy, scary. But, uh, so just be careful guys. When you're flying like this, fly out in front of yourself. You know, do something like this and just get used to the heli. But we're down to a minute, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna shut this off. Um, we're gonna talk about it a little bit. So let me turn it off quick and then uh, we're gonna chat about it. So guys, here we are up close and personal with the M1. Now, when the video first started, you've seen that crash I took. It didn't affect anything. You can hear that uh, self-leveling, kind of like uh, AS3X. It's not really a safe, it's more of, you know, like I just said, like an AS3X type thing. Where it'll self-level itself. And, you know, from that flight, as you can see, it did a very good job. You're not able to tell. Um, there's not like a flag around here or anything. But you can, I mean, can you feel that wind? I mean, it's, it's pretty windy today. You can... Um, it wasn't that windy when we were flying, but it's windy and this thing did a really good job actually in the wind um, If you're not experienced with just flying helicopters regular, I don't suggest flying in the wind But it is to their own do what you want to do type thing um, That's what I did. That's what I've always done. I fly when I want to fly um, So go ahead. We're gonna take the canopy off this and I was gonna show you the battery and stuff inside this little thing So you can see the wind's too bad. The canopy is just so here is the battery that comes with it. It's a 350. OMP does sell extras, and you can get them on E-Main or at the helicopter post down below. Um, the batteries were fairly cheap. I think they were like 10 bucks. They might have been 15 a piece. 
somewhere in there. That isn't very bad um, for batteries by today's standards. The helicopter is uh, kind of expensive too for what it is. The helicopter you're looking at for 250. I got mine on sale for 200. They might still be having that sale, so if you hurry up, um, be part of that, uh, which I thought was actually a pretty good deal um, for this little heli. And it's this heli is the predecessor to like the MCPX. Um, it would be. So I was going to buy the MCPX, but I actually went with this one, and I'm happy I went with this one. Um, we might still end up picking up an MCPX at some time just to compare the two, but for now, I'm enjoying this. I'm learning how to fly on this quite a bit. So today would have been my third flight with this, uh, third battery pack. I flew it at my house once, just up front hovering it and stuff and getting used to it. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with it. Good little heli. Um, as you can see, it's really made with high quality. It's got quality landing gear. I believe the landing gear is plastic. I could be incorrect. The frame is plastic. Um, your swash plate is aluminum. Your head's aluminum. Everything up on the top is aluminum, which is very nice. Your rear boom is aluminum. When I put this heli down, guys, if that rear boom was plastic, that rear boom might have been gone. Um, the swash plate and stuff probably would have been messed up most definitely, too. But something I see that's different about this heli that I don't see on most is that your top is actually attached by a screw here. And I'm not sure what they call these linkages, so if someone wants to uh, correct me, they can. But the top here is done by screws. It's not pop on and pop off like most blade helis that you see, which is kind of different. But nothing popped off actually when I crashed it, so I'm pretty impressed. Um, guys, I'm giving this one a thumbs up. Very cool little heli. Go pick one up for yourself.